Hey, I'm from the Shark Trust. Here's one creature who's, yep, a shark, and a blue one at that. And another fish of similar size and not too dissimilar shape. Side by side, we see that both live within the sea, and they do indeed have fins, teeth, and a tail. This is a fish, and this is a fish. Ta-da! And many can climb the steps to take a stand on the podium for Top Predator. But only one ticks all the boxes for the title of shark. Sharks tend to be predators. But don't forget, predators can be this, this, and even this. Peek inside, and you'll find that one has bones. Yet blue here has something a bit more bendy. Without delving too deep, we call the shark family elasmobranchs. They all have flexible, cartilaginous skeletons, making them agile in our ocean. But our elasmo friends are K-selected, meaning they put a lot of time and their energy into raising only a couple of pups. Many fish feel the pressures of fishing, but they produce thousands if not millions of eggs. So, elasmobranch communities really feel the impact when their fellow species are removed. Through understanding how sharks are similar to bony fish, yet knowing where their differences lie, Policymakers, fishers, and people like you are able to make informed everyday decisions on how to conserve shark populations for the future. Your understanding is the first step. Now, let's start a movement. Grab your friends, family, and even strangers in the street and share with them what truly makes a shark a shark. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can always find out more at www.sharktrust.org.